Hi all, I have another fascinating game to show you from TSEC, Stockfish vs Houdini. This is TSEC Season 17, Premier Division, Round 5. The opening is a razor sharp Sicilian defence, in particular the Richter Rouser, which uh, sounds like uh, it's pretty sharp, doesn't it? So the first eight moves, this is uh, in the Sicilian Richter Rouser, so Bishop G5, Queen B6 hitting that knight, the knight retreats back, e6 queen d2 bishop e7 this is the end of the book so this is a really interesting start position to see uh, to test these engines with white castles queen side black king side and the scene is set for a gory battle usually in opposite side casting situations speed is of the essence to get lines open to the opponent's king we have a first uh, a, a prophylaxis star move king b1 we have rook d8 and now this is really quite nifty already can you see can you see what stockfish plays in this position if i give you five seconds you might not have uh, thought of this here black's preparing it seems d5 what does white want to do okay bishop e2 just offering f2 pawn it's not a blunder it's it's a foul being opened rapidly to the opponent's king basically or near around the opponent's king bishop e2 if white plays instead h4 as an example a5 a4 knight g4 might actually be interesting uh, but after bishop takes uh, it's still this is really quite sharp queen g5 forking both knights white ends up better in this line uh, significantly actually so yeah there's some really interesting lines with f2 now if we have a look at this again, instead of knight g4, if d5, e takes, knight takes, bishop b5, say, white should have a small edge here. Okay, so bishop e2 offering a gambit, making the game into a gambit situation. So very instructive, perhaps, to use just the f file here. Uh, rook hf1, it is touching one of the uh, defensive pieces, though, of the king, and offering another pawn now, queen takes g2 you might think but the queen actually retreats black wasn't that greedy this is a real open road to the king here if queen takes and perhaps rook g1 this line with rook df1 celebrating both of these roads uh, here in this position can you see what white has there's a really fine tactical shot here which is actually based both on the king and the queen here a very impressive tactical shot exists if I give you five seconds to pause the video what would you play here in this variation okay there's rook takes f7 believe it or not with the idea of bishop g4 trapping the queen the queen has no squares and here there's check using the f file and then winning the queen so uh, yeah that's really interesting finesses in the position and you may have thought, well, what's rook takes in this line? Is rook takes actually necessary? Can white just play bishop g4? Well, black has bishop takes, and then queen takes h2, and black's actually doing very well there. So, yeah, interesting razor-sharp stuff, but the queen goes back to b6. And now we have bishop takes, and g takes. You might think, well, why g takes? If bishop takes, then we have another very interesting set of possibilities emerging. White can sack the exchange and play queen h6 off the knight e5. There's a key move here which is really quite fascinating based on, again, believe it or not, the queen and the king in a way. Very subtly, knight d4 with the idea of trying to get in knight d5 to f6 via knight f5 taking to weaken d5. So, for example, d5 to try and stop all that. Uh, h4 is still dangerous for white. This position is still very interesting for white. There's lasting pressure on black's king side. White should be better. If black doesn't play d5 in that line, I know this is razor sharp uh, stuff, but say black doesn't play d5 here, and say a5, let's have a look at that. Knight f f5 friends, mate. You see this mechanism of knight d5, big tempo gain, and it's crushing. It's going to be amazing. So yeah, really, really interesting stuff to do with uh, bishop takes, rook takes. But here we see g takes. 
this does weaken h6 so h6 is pounds thin too knight e5 and now another fine move here can you guess if i give you five seconds what does white play in this position that does seem a very nice attractive knight which is difficult to dislodge there's no d or f pawn to dislodge that how does white continue the attack this is one for the attacking players manual this game white play another five seconds just in case what would you play okay rook d3 trying to play for rook g3 so black takes that uh, if bishop f8 instead queen takes knight takes it's uh, carnage and destruction basically after knight a4 believe it or not you might think what on earth is knight a4 about i think really it's about loosening the rook so for example here check we've got a loose rook and taking here this is a massive advantage for white so uh yeah knight takes wasn't played uh we have uh, instead sorry knight takes knight takes was played not bishop f8 uh now bishop takes so now there's an imminent other imminent dangers in the possession here maybe e5 at some point soon we have bishop f8 trying to gain a tempo queen takes hitting f7 now that's protected uh so here we have another rook left rook f4 second rook left and really pyrotechnic defensive move which under normal circumstances would be really applauded what would you play with black i find this a very very interesting defensive try from houdini so black to play a defensive try if i give you five seconds for black okay well extinguish the threat h5 is a legal move which does extinguish the threat uh however check bishop g7 we have rook f1 now i thought this was absolutely amazing rook f1 but it is born out of necessity black has potential counterplay with queen g1 check so this passive aggressive retreat is uh, important if white plays g4 for example then the point is dragging this knight back there's a slight weakness of the last move dragging the knight back so we have the knight being dragged back and now queen c5 is useful which gives support for the g5 square and believe it or not black has an amazing resource here can you spot it which actually ends up black is actually ending up better with this defensive resource in this position okay bishop h6 it's magical stuff you know dragging the knight back to get c5 to get g5 real chain chain reaction i thought there black would be better here so uh we have this retreat it's logical to play this in light of that h4 we have g4 uh, a5 so black is trying to drum up some play but also a4 provides support sometimes for rook a5 if this knight's driven back black gets in a resource rook a5 uh, here if um, after g4 instead on passant queen takes uh, king f8 uh, the fascinating thing here is knight e2 uh, these knights could actually switch from the queen side to the king side so first thing knight takes e6 check and here knight d4 so again if shielding b2 and also knight e6 check if queen takes d4 and say rook d8 e5 d takes knight g6 is winning the queen so that can be quite devastating uh, so we have uh, a5 not h takes g we have a4 uh, if queen takes h4 black activates a little bit with a4 as mentioned driving this knight back if bishop takes c3 knight c4 which is clever it protects b2 it hits the queen but uh here uh it's uh it's uh after b5 knight a3 black's got a big advantage so um and in this line by the way on instead of queen takes h4 uh, say e5 was played a4 knight d2 queen d8 queen h5 rook a5 this is very nice for white this is a very nice attacking position a big advantage point there so really ra razor sharp stuff but a4 shutting down blacks 
can't play for a moment a little bit Queen d8 Queen h5 Bishop e5 we have g5 now Queen f8 and now another nice move can you guess what white plays here another kind of rook left into the black king position is the clue so white play here okay rook f6 it does get a form pawn if nothing else quite natural looking actually rook b8 so just to test the form pawn if bishop takes g takes e5 to stop white playing e5 because that's devastation on h7 funny enough here <laughs> this knight all of a sudden is the key piece to move according to stockfish analyzing stockfish stockfish on stockfish indicates knight d2 is the killer because it's going to get to the g5 square it can take three moves here it doesn't matter because the binds created by the form pawn gives white loads of time and for example like this black has to give up the queen that's ridiculous but it's <laughs> apparently it's the, the one thing to do uh, if it's if black doesn't then we just have knight g5 so we're going to go in queen h7 and if this this is pretty desperate again just leading to that so yeah these transfers of the knights after the bind is set up i thought was quite entertaining uh so anyway after rook f6 uh, that's ignored rook b8 and now we have rook h6 b5 a takes queen g7 g6 white seems to be really intensifying the pressure rook e7 we have knight takes a5 meanwhile also on this side of the board there are past pawns here in the making for later potentially the uh so bishop d7 rook h7 queen f6 if queen takes g6 then just taking and then taking the rook so uh after rook h7 queen f6 g7 uh, so this rook's loose right now we have queen g6 just offering the rook it's uh it's pretty hopeless though because rook h8 and queen h7 for example threatened so this is pretty hopeless so winning that rook which means actually the past pawns have more gravity to them there's less blockade potential black crates its own past pawn the h pawn taking this off b6 that looks really dangerous though that b pawn d5 rook d8 rook f7 Bishop e2, d4, knight d1, bishop g3, bishop g4, putting a stop to that pawn for a moment. Bishop b5, rook takes d4. It seems as though white has <laughs> three connected past pawns over here and is blocking at the moment black's pawn. Bishop takes. We have rook f6. If g4, then knight e3 is strong, putting an end to black's fun. For example, h3, check bishop d5 and this check here is going to be strong to make sure the pawn's not going anywhere the bishop's eyeing h1 it's just hopeless for black so uh so rook f6 check uh we have uh rook e7 h3 that's just taken it's over really by the shouting uh look at white's position it's absolutely dominating these past pawns are just gonna come in here it was auto resigned it's pretty it looks pretty crushing king's gonna move in these pawns and it's gonna win so uh yeah i thought that was a really sharp as hell to play the rick to rosa by by the latest stockfish 11 arguably the greatest chess entity right now uh, especially in tactical positions i'd say for sure so really razor sharp stuff stuff to think about on the white side of the Sicilian defense how to open up lines against the king the neighboring line the F file as well as the G file pretty important if you can do that it seems if you can sack a pawn like the F2 pawn fascinating stuff hope you enjoyed it as much as me if you want to challenge me for a game check out kingscrusher.tv that's it just put that in your browser register and I'll invite you for a game pretty shortly after that or bitly if you prefer slash chess world you can also join my chat at discord rather suave chat forums discord so there's kingscrusher.tv slash discord okay thanks very much comments questions likes uh subscribes appreciated by the way thanks again